and then you ran uh, a number generator to see what number sequence is most often repeated yeah. and how improbable it would be. Maybe you end up with Beethoven's fifth or something. You know? Exactly. You know I mean? I mean, no, absolutely. Is, is what I'm saying? Is that just because of the, the quantities here, you might actually find a, a biorhythm. No, that, absolutely. That, that, and that, that no one else has ever discovered. That's the whole kind of concept of this project in, my, in a lot of ways. It's like trying to find, like using this kind of a uh, micro rhythm. You know? Natural, yeah, yeah, to, to look at the natural rhythms of how things happen. You know? Yeah, like what, using, yeah, these kind of natural processes to yeah. create music. And in, in a lot of ways, it's like I was just telling somebody else, it, it kind of, I, I think it really fits into sort of 20th century composition mm -hmm. techniques of like really heavily kind of controlling some elements of it but leaving other elements yeah. totally. It's yeah. cool to build another one of these instruments that's actually dropping things, like the scores <laughs> are dropping, like physically like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely fits into that whole kind of uh, you know, crazy ambient ways to make the sound. It's been, yeah, I mean, it, we, we got funded to do it uh, through the uh, Unity Sound. 